Taxi Ryan, they'll probably get a super fractor too. I needed that to, to help repair my chair that broke. Bubo fixed it all himself. Ronaldo Lopez. Six games a day. Is that a refractor? Tio Scar Hernandez, the 499. Curly. TJ Chisholm. He had to create a device that would effervesce, that would form carbon dioxide bubbles. That was the major challenge. NT Baseball getting close, almost in the single digits. Giving away a free fucking base that was used in a game that signed its dirt on it and something to do with Dustin Pedroia and nobody else is giving away something like that so let's spill a fucking break. Pretty trees with sugar on top. Even Bumo picked up a team. Come on now. Garrett Shashini dropping to 74. I'm watching a show about how Pop Rocks were made. All right, who do we have here? For the Blue Jays, we have a refractor autograph, the 499, Daniel Norris. The crackling sensation is unlike anything Mitchell has experienced before. Daniel Norris, I think. switches to focus from soda to sweets. And he gives a confection an era-appropriate name. Pop Rocks. This was the great time period of atomic bombs and atomic testing, so atomic candy was the name he gave it. But when he shows it to company executives, they say... And we have a mini Byron Buxton. ...original task and refused to add it to their product line. General Foods was not in the candy business. Mitchell is crushed. Crushed. Is his explosive treat... And we have a mini... Julio Urias. That's two pretty good minis. 13,000 miles and not a single airplane. Get crazy family adventure. All new Sunday at 9 on Travel Channel. And Justin Nicolino. Oh, and the 499, we also have Daniel Norris. There's 14 cards in this pack. Brandon Nimmo. Over 31 irresistible flavor of ice cream. 
Ice Queen. Ooh, is that a little orange refractor action? Nope. Orange paper. Also number to 25 for the Cardinals Juan Herrera Road. Orange paper. Just like the orange paper autos of Chris Bryant in Inception. Carlos Baer. Everybody's so quiet. What shock you know? And Brandon Finnegan beginning. We got the new and it's got the Oh, and we have a blue. Is that a blue? A blue mini to 150 of Joey. I'm hitting 190 in the last uh, month, Gallo. And a mini Michael Taylor. All right, Mr. Lucky, last pack. And Jose. Jose, who? Jose Peraza. And I am out of. Oh, man! We won't try. We did get the uh, model. Model did buy a spot, so got one order out of it. Might have to pound down a Tecate soon. A Tecate soon. Ho, 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 ho. Tecate soon. <laughs> no one needs to see Bumo's junk. Bumo's junk. Bumo's junk. Hello, Jeff. Yunga. Jeff, is this guy any good? Juan Herrera. -er. Jeff is all over the Cardinals. Pizza, pasta, and salad at Pizza Street Tuesday. And saucer cones included in a price just $4.99. Available every day on our buffet. Where's the hot chick? She give up breaking already? The Pop Rocks were invented. The guy was trying to make soda. Pop Rocks 
were invented. In 1975, General Foods releases Pop Rocks to the public, borrowing another characteristic from the drink that inspired it. The three top flavors of Kool-Aid were orange, grape, and cherry. So let's make Pop Rocks in orange, grape, and cherry flavors. 500 million packages are sold in just three years. Pop Rocks were a phenomenon. They were a huge success. To this day, Pop Rocks are one of the world's most beloved candies. And this vintage 1970s era Kool-Aid packet at the Hastings Museum recalls the unique or... Fuck. Well, I want to thank everyone for being so chatty. Seven and seven after playing in the arena bowl 